Hey, welcome to Roddy Bro Gamer channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show some cool features on OBS 27. It's about to release very, very soon. And also how you can use it in a portable mode so you can test it as well, right after this. All right, so before we go into the OBS Studio uh, features that I'm gonna show you right now, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet and like this content, go ahead and subscribe or like it so it can help with the channel grow as well. I also stream on Twitch Monday to Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, New York Time. And also we have a Discord server that you can go ahead and join. The description of the server is gonna be below on the description. So. Let's go ahead and find out these cool features I want to show you guys. Uh, let's go. All right, so we are right here on the OBS Studio 27 version that's going to be coming out. And uh, one of the first features I want to show you is the most thing that everybody asks about is the undo button. It's the ability for you to undo any certain thing on the canvas right here. Uh, I just created here two scenes, which is the game scene and the B-Rab back scene, just for this demonstration. Um, I'm just gonna actually activate the camera and the scene is uh, this nice nice looking cyberpunk uh, <laughs> background so what's gonna happen is uh, let's say that you want to uh, to set up something like this and something happen uh, in the canvas whatever and you don't know you just go control Z and go back look at that the way you want you keep it going back I believe with this new version right now you can go back not unlimited but up to 500 times so i think is enough for <laughs> for coming back and uh but you can basically do anything if you forget to uh, to resize something or if you have an overlay that you don't like it you mess up something just keep it going back like that and it's absolutely super cool much easier to uh work on your canvas on obs studio Another cool feature that I like in this new version is about the transitions. We all know that transitions usually works from uh, the transition go and uh, cover all your A uh, scene and then open with your B scene. So to demonstrate, the old transition is basically just like this. It covers the whole screen and then opens a second scene for you. Now, the other transition that I'm going to show you right here is the one that is uh, very new on OBS 27. It's a very cool transition. It actually it, uh, it shows scene B coming on scene A on the same screen. Totally different than this uh, transition right here. When you change the way I'm changing right now, see, it, it blocks scene A and then come in the scene B right away. So this new one here, I'm going to show you real quick how to add it. And um, you're going to go and uh, add a stinger like normally. I'm going to call new stinger. And then uh, we're going to go here and you're going to choose a file that you wanted for the, the stinger. In that case, uh, you're going to see there's two files right here and I'll explain in a minute. The first file is the normal stinger. You just make a stinger or if you use a stinger, that's normal. But what happened is right here, that's a new uh, actually option called use a track mate. The track mate is going to be a, a separate file, black and white. That's going to be synchronized with your regular sting uh, transition that you made it. And then what's going to happen is the white color on that stinger is going to uh, is going to represent the, uh, the scene B coming to the black, uh, the other part of the black string, which is going to be scene A. Let me explain real quick. Um, right here, when you click it, you have uh, this actual option. Same file side by side, or you have a uh, same file stack, uh, stack it, or you have a separate file. In that case, I did in a separate file, which I thought it was much easier for me to do it. So I click here, separate file, and opens here another browser where I can find the other file. So when I click browser, you're gonna see right here that I create two different ones. What I did is, if you see the little uh, the little uh, screen right here, I did the white part inside the screen and uh, the black outside. So this is a black and white, and this is the color one. So when I click here and add it, okay, 
uh, on the uh, on the transition, this is what happened. See? So, it's in the same scene. So, now, if you click again, look, A is coming and the same screen on B. So, it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with that. So, when you, need, when you use it, and that's how we come out right now. Looks how cool it is. You just basically have a, a, a completely new way transition you see i got a little glitch right now they still work on guys so if you're going to test they still before the release there's still some bug this bug right here that i encounter when i do this right here it kind of go back and forth so this is not 100 percent but this is what they're going for and i'm sure there's going to be a pretty cool thing for uh, all of us the other thing that i want to show you it's over here in the transition. If you go and you see all the way down here, they call uh, this have a Luma wipe right here. If you add it, there's a different other whole different transition that you can choose with that kind of effect right now. So, for example, I'm going to show you like at the clock. This is the transition right here. Uh, you see, it's the B is still on it and A coming up. So is that I got a spiral like that. And of course, you can actually decrease the softness, um, you know, how it is. It's a lot of bunch over here, way, look at that. Uh, all different ways that you can use it. This is a completely different as well. So it's pretty cool, really like it. The other thing that I wanna show you on OBS, uh, on OBS uh, 27, is that you can actually add transitions on the sources. So what that means, like, uh, for example, let's use the camera as a source and let's say you want to, uh, when you go to from, let's say when you go from a be right back scene to your game scene right now, you want uh, this to appear uh, to your screen or when you toggle, you want it to have an, uh, an, uh, an uh, transition. So what you can do now is if you go to your source right here, right click on your new source, you're going to see show transition and high transition. So if you go to show transition right here, let's say I'm gonna choose a side to appear by uh, to the side, which is gonna appear, let me see, from my left. But I wanna choose to come in, in from my right, like this, and you click okay. And what happened is when I talk out, that's fine. But when I wanna talk this on, it comes from the side. So you can actually uh, have this as uh, after the scene. Of course, we can use a stream drag, a stream deck to uh, to actually uh, put that as a, as a, as another way to you know to um, to actually program it in a stream deck. So after the scene coming in, it pops in like that. And also you can pop out as well. Like if you click over here and hide transition. If you go to let's say I wasn't choosing side. I'm gonna choose now they're going to be my left, I believe. Now it's gonna be to my right. There we go. To my right. Let's see if that's gonna be right. I think it's gonna be left. <laughs> All right, so this is what happened. So you toggle to disappear, go to your left, and toggle to appear, go to your right. You can do this with any source. And that's pretty cool. So you can do this with all your overlays and everything. So this is a very good and cool feature. And another also feature they actually have in this OBS 27 is not more like a feature more is more something that they fix it. So if you guys had a problem on your laptop that have the black screen that you have to change your graphic uh, uh, graphics settings for your uh, GPU for your computer to actually collect your, to use your display. Now you don't need to do that. Um, right here, I know we all, as a laptop, as you have a laptop to use it, we are go over here um, and uh, usually you have to go to graph, type graphics, setting, and then if you wanna use your uh, your OBS to, call, to actually show your screen, your computer screen, you have to go to options and you have to choose the power saving, right? So that means that if you wanted to play and you want to show your screen, you can because you're using the GPU from your computer, um, which is you want to really want to use your GPU from the more powerful, the one they use for games and everything. So 
What happened to this new one, this new OBS 27, that mean they fixed that actually problem that we have on those laptops, special laptops. So over here, I'm running, but I, 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 you already, I already tested. Even if I go over here, because I'm actually recording another OBS in my laptop. So if you go to display capture and you just add it, automatically uh, capture everything uh, with no problem. So this is a pretty good thing. Uh, especially those guys that have a laptop. I use my laptop and uh, sometimes I have to change that all the time. It's annoying, annoying, but they did it and they fix it. So it's going to be pretty cool. All right. So for you to go ahead and have a, another OBS in, in your computer so you can go around and uh, mess around if you want to, if you want to test it out, plugins and everything, especially if you want to download this uh, OBS 27 and see how and test for yourself before you release you what you gotta do first you gotta go to this website right here you gotta go to um i'm gonna put the link in the description below you're gonna go over here you're gonna click uh, you're gonna go to this side right here i'm gonna you're gonna click right here obs 27 release candidate number two and then once you get into this page right here you're gonna go and download the zip file remember zip file do not download the a exe file right here once you download the zip file, I already have on my computer right here. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to uh, extract this to a, a folder that you want. For example, right now, I'm going to extract all to, I'm going to extract to this folder that I create. So you create a folder uh, saying OBS 27 on your computer. Uh, let's go ahead uh, desktop and let me go ahead and see the folder right here. I extract everything, select the folder, extract it, and the All right, so when it ext finish extracted the document, what you're going to do, you're going to put in a folder that you create. I I'll create OBS 27 is already over here when you extract it. And you're going to actually create a new document file. And you're going to name, o uh, you're gonna name um, OBS underscore um, horrible. underscore mode okay so you're gonna create that file you're not gonna do nothing with that file that you're not gonna put anything in the file you're just gonna be in there and then what you're going to do basically you're gonna click on bin 64 uh and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see right here on obs 64 and it's gonna open obs brand new on your computer right now i'm having obs recording this video and this is going to be the new OBS right here, if you see 27. And then you just go ahead and mess around with that OBS for you. Um, now, if you wanted to actually transfer your uh, settings or your scenes to the new OBS so you can test it out, what you're going to do is after you actually, um, after you create the folder right here on your computer, you're gonna have this uh, folder right here, the config, which is gonna be all your scenes and everything. So for you to actually export your um, main OBS scenes to this one, that is the portable one, what you're going to do, you're gonna go to, usually uh, most of them are NSC. So you're gonna go to C, you're gonna go to users um, right here, and you're gonna go to your name and user, and you're gonna go to Apple uh, app data, which is uh, is a hide uh, file. Make sure that you have those files uh, not hiding, so you can see this one here. Uh, you click App Data, and then you're gonna click Roaming, and then you're gonna go to OBS Studio right here. So all this thing that inside right here goes in that folder. So what you do, you copy everything here. You copy everything over here. Go to the config right here um, folder actually is already one here so you click it delete it copy and paste there it's gonna copy and paste all your profile for your main OBS studio once that finish only thing you gotta do 
is opening OBS Studio 27 and you're ready to go to test every single thing over there. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this video actually helped you to uh, get these cool features on OBS and also how to create this portable OBS so you can test it out, all your plugins and anything you needed. Also, I'm putting in the description below this file that I use for this uh, for this transition. If you want to have it, it's a free download, go ahead and take it for yourself for your stream or to auto test it out as well. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to actually like this video, help the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.